Um, okay, here is what used to be my living room. And now it is the room where I, I essentially put my boxes so that I can find what I need to find. They're pretty much in order. Over here you have the US, here's Canada. Um, over there is Europe, the, the three different regions of Europe. There we have the UK Action Force, we have Argentina, over here is Mexico, down here is Sun School India, um, here's the overflow for, for Europe. What I do is I do a lot of comparison with packaging, uh, example, sky stripers, these are all full, um, so are these uh, uh, ha more hydrofoils. And it's really, really, it's, it's kind of neat to see and to find out um, through the actual packaging uh, where they were released and when they were released. And also, like for instance, the Moray Hydrofoil, that's one of the sets that I really enjoy. When I, and if you find you know, cool things like this, like this, this Street Fighter uh, Moray Hydrofoil, or um, over here, I was really, really excited to finally get a full set of Rattlers. Um, here's the US Rattler, the Canadian Rattler. This is the one from um, wow. Belgium. This one here is from, from France. This right here is from, from Holland. Um, this here is, this one here is from Canada. I mean, not just from Canada, Japan, sorry. Um, this is from the UK. This one here is my utmost favorite only because it was the most difficult to find and when I finally got it I felt like I had won the lottery. This is the Rattler from Mexico. Wow. I mean it's just really really hard to get. Um, in fact I've never seen another. Um, this is the one from Argentina. I'm pretty sure that's it those are for the Rattlers around the world. Um, but it's just I don't know why. I don't know why I get such a thrill out of it but I really enjoy finding all the different ones. I have been really, really lucky and I now have every single solitary box vehicle from Brazil except for one. I haven't been able to find the Tiger Force helicopter yet, um, but I'm, I'm still looking. But the last one I got was, is in really, really bad box. I mean, it's just really, really a mess. It's the, the, the avalanche. Um, but as bad a box as this is, the thrill that I, that I got when it, when it arrived, because I had been looking for this for so many years, and to finally find it is just um, an awesome experience. Um, on the right side, you see the Comandos Emasao. Those are the boxes from uh, Brazil. To the left are the Comandos Heroicos. Those are from Mexico. Um, you'll see a lot of similarity in their boxes. Um, almost, uh, it's, uh, they, they use the, the, same, the, the same typeface, etc. Um, and it, sometimes it's easy to get them mixed up, but just remember one's Eroicos and the other's Emasal. Um, one of the first version um, uh, vehicles from the early Palatoy, and this is the, um, um, the Panther and Stalker. And then later on in 1985, there was a transition from the, from the Palatoy uh, mythos to the, the U.S. mythos. And so it was 1985, and they changed the, the logo from this Action Force. Well, they added this AF for Action Force, and they put those on, and they added the Cobra. So it was no longer the Red Shadows, it was Cobra. And that only lasted um, for a year. Actually, they were available in 85 and 86, but the, on 86, they were exact same ones that were, had been available in 85. And then, um, then they went to the, um, the U.S. Uh, mythos, uh, purely, and, and this exactly the same box is just redone for the, with the Action Force logo. And those are from the UK, but then um, in 1990 they stopped using Action Force at all in their marketing, except for in some of the Nordic com countries. So you'll see some of the later vehicles, the Wolf or the Crusader, with the Action Force logo on. They were never available like that in the UK. They were only available in Sweden, Finland, um, and other Nordic countries. Well, when I'm working here, um, I've been setting up these tablets with all the different countries so that I can uh, figure out the marketing schedule is essentially how, how they released and what they released exactly and try to get the timing correct. Here you have all the, 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 the tomahawk, um, except for, like for instance, this one here is, um, here's Mexico, here's the UK, here's Belgium. Oh, uh, the Brazilian one is up there on display. Okay, this is the, the it used to be our dining room, it's now where I do my photography. Um, we, la yet last night, here, come on in. 
Last night, Chad and Colin and I set up all of my 80, all of my vintage vehicles from 82 to 92 in the kitchen. And so that's why we had the define. Normally they wouldn't be down here, but we brought them down to do that, and we haven't put them back up yet. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this light on over here. Wow. That's a collection of vintage team and giant, 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 giant space shuttle. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah. The kids would love that. <laughs> yeah. This is like more like truly holy grail type things you want to get. So, so, he, so, so sorry, I said I've so, never even seen one before that helps. <laughs> so, so in here we have the the vintage U.S. stuff. Oh, on the top shelf, there's some other not U.S. But most of it's from the U.S. Over on the right side there, we have some bookcases or ca cases that I meant, the action force to mimic the card back. Back here we have most of the, the books that, that, that I use that, that help give me information to find out, to re for research, to find out what, what, what I'm doing or what I need to do. And we've got lots of help from those books. They're really awesome. And back These look like she just opened up out of a box from 1988. Yeah. Or 87, that's when it came up, right? 87. Because the pterodrome was what, 85? I think so. I just remember my mother said, no, that's too big. <laughs> you get the 83 HQ, and that's where you got the stuff. I got to see so these in a nice giant box of Toys R Us on the top shelf. Pterodrome was 86, I think, because the, the USS flag was 85. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that existed. I thought my friend was lying. He's like, I got this huge seven and a half foot aircraft carrier. I'm like, whatever, liar. <laughs> I didn't know he was telling me the truth. The only person I knew that collected Joe's was my cousin. And he usually had the opposite of whatever I had. I didn't believe him when he told me he had a black Mobat. Because, you know, we only got certain things. And, well, we're poor. <laughs> so we only had certain things, whether on clearance or whatnot. In the 90s stuff, me and my friend, if I didn't have it, he had it. And we'd all put all our stuff together and we played for like hours. <laughs> Can't wait to see what a flag looks like. Here we have just again some overflow stuff I couldn't fit oh in the in the gosh. living room. I remember that there. Oh so we just yeah. have the phantoms and ravens yeah, and hammerheads. Too. And it's, yeah. for instance, here it was it was called Triton in the in one of the the uh, European groups. Um, and that's another thing I, I love seeing the different names. So like for instance, the mean dog in Mexico is called the bulldog. Yeah. I mean, just it's just oh, there, cool. there's also yeah. I think I love finding the new names. Um, the phantom there was called l'invisible, which means the invisible, which underst understandably for um, the mm -hmm. Phantom. And here, this one's called the Cobra Nautilus instead of the bug. Um, this is my paper, this is where I do all my, my research and paperwork. Wow. And wow. I sort of built this mini room in my garage to try to mm -hmm. keep things straight. This is where, it, the in the, my bedroom, you saw all the, the bins of archive vehicles from 82 to in the 80s and 90s. And here I put um, a lot of the ones from the 2000s because I figure it gets hotter in the garage. Not really, I try to keep it not too hot, but it, it, I think because they're newer, they can stand the heat better. And so for temporarily, that's what I do. Also here I have all, these are all G.I. Joe comics. Um, the comics like here's Spain, Canada. Oh, wow. From all around, I'm sorry, from all around the world, but it's mm. some of them. It's there. There's these are comets from Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, Peru, Chile, oh, Australia, wow. France, Holland, Poland, Denmark, etc. Wow. Wow. And um, plus, we have all the U.S. comics up to date that 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 have ever been um, uh, published. Including the one from the 1950s. Actually, that's not true. I'm missing one of the ones from the 1950s. I still can't find number 22. If anybody ever finds G.I. Joe um, number 22 from the <laughs> 1950s, I need it. Um, so you've got everything Clark categorized mm -hmm. by country, and mm -hmm. these are all including all card backs and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. paperwork and all that? Right, that right. Stuff? Okay, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, awesome. well, let me give you an example. So here, for instance, this is Canada. These are blueprints. Same oh, no, same these same are blue, blueprints aren't exciting. This two file cards. These are file cards. <laughs> file cards from Canada see the um, oh yeah you're a file card guy so mm -hmm. you might you might enjoy this so it's just I you know by year mm -hmm. all, all, and they're all sort of bilingual and again mm -hmm. you have the the different names for some of them mm -hmm. I guess I mentioned earlier that one of my favorite uh, crazy names is Snake Eyes is called Zorro. Yeah, I yeah, I, think, I, think, I, I love that. I think yeah. that's just awesome because awesome. I love Zorro too. I love Snake Eyes and I love Zorro, so that that works. Then over here, for instance, here are U.S. file cards. Here's these are eight, these are eighty-two to eighty-five. Then here we have 
86, 89, and on, 90, 92. So in each of these books, like for instance, there's you know the the, the blueprints the the if the pack the packaging what I did it's kind of silly I know a lot of people don't appreciate it because I think that I ruined stuff but um, see what I did is I I cut up this again I did this when the kids were really young I wasn't a collector collector I just was doing it so the kids would have um, information about the toys they were playing with and to to look it up so wow. so so and back then I didn't even know. That there were sheet protectors like this, so I put everything in on these black pages and punched holes in them, which is really too bad because I ended up punching holes in some like in, like princes here. I punched holes in the blueprints at the time because I didn't know any better. But um, so I do that with with all of the with all of the uh, the vehicle packaging art. Putting them up on the wall helps me realize what I have, what I need. Because if I see a knockout is not a knockdown, it's not a really cool figure. But for some reason, I just decided to. I, I know I think I, I found the Canadian one, and that got me excited. So I feel, oh, let me see what other ones I can f I can find. Oh, look, so he's KO. Yeah. Huh? Like knockout. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so so sometimes I'll be on eBay and I'll see a, a knockdown figure, and I'll go. I, I can run up here and say, oh, oh, I got it. I don't write and so I, Oh, I don't need to bid, which is really nice. 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 This is one of the, the uh, Nordic ones. Um, the action force in um, in the Nordic countries didn't allow the card art to have them oh. firing, holding a weapon, or firing a weapon. And you'll see that in some other other figures as well. Interesting. The, the very interesting card backs. The Mercer looks pretty nice with the, like you said, he didn't have the weapon in his hand. He uh -huh. just has the fist. I mean, which one do you like? I mean, personally, I mean, from the one that you bought. Oh, wow, no one's ever asked me that. Um, I really, I'm just curious. I, I really like Iron Grenadier over here. So I, I just I like the figure and I like I like the card art. Here's the card art, uh, which I, I I think the figure's awesome. I think the the card art and then there's the Action Force version without without oh, him holding his gun. Cool. Oh. And there's see there's Storm Shadow yeah. with, without his bow and arrow. Oh, cool! They just yeah, they just cool. redid his hands. Yeah. <laughs> like a kung fu stance. Yeah. That's nice. Interesting. And then, and then I love comparison things like these. All three of these oh, are from Fun School. But all three of them, the, even the card art, it, it, I mean, the way they did the card back is different. Oh wow! Were they from a? Were they released? I guess different time uh -huh. frames too mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, okay. yeah. Over here, you have there's some South American figures. Well, actually, I have um, different Storm Shadow oh, versions. Here's Action Force Storm Shadow. Here's some here's U.S. Here. There was one. There was one for sale recently on eBay from, from Canada, and I wanted so dearly to buy it, but I just thought, you know, I just spent so much, I can't spend any more. And, um, but it's, it, I, I almost regret now that I didn't spend the money, because it would have been worth having. Um, there you have the a Glenda from the Argent 7. It's, uh -huh. not, it's not a great card back, but at least it is an Argent 7. Uh -huh. um, and then here you have the Pit Daddy Destro uh, mint on card. Yeah. 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 I was yeah. that yeah. was that too. And, and that's, that's the one right there. Okay. That's the official one right there. That is really cool. Then here you have these are all fun schools um, uh, snake oh. eyes, and they're all different. One of the, one of the black ones actually is molded with gloves instead of his normal hands, which I think is neat. And fun school did a lot of crazy things like that, um, doing putting different molds on on figures that were otherwise classic figures. I just noticed something really really. Cool. Um, I noticed Destro here is uh -huh. single, just an, a single carded figure uh -huh. instead of his playset. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. really neat. Yeah, if, and for instance, that's also true with um, okay, Zartan up here. See, he's a single figure. Oh, from, cool. That's from Japan. That's really neat. Um, that's my Fang collection. I have every Fang from every country, which I was even from uh, Australia, which is really wow. neat. Um, and then these are for these figures here are from Mexico. Over here, of course, see there you have, that's Australia, this is Japan, that's China, this is Korea. Um, what else do we have here? 